Well, we're almost done now that we only got LIFO left. So same facts for the company and the previous examples. Now we're just doing LIFO here. And that's last in, first out. Well, how do we account for that, right? Well, ending inventory, cost of goods sold. We're doing it all. We're going to be having a good time here. Okay, so we're looking at this and we see last in, first out. Well, what was the last in? Okay, we, we sold a total of 4,000. And this is periodic and perpetual system. We're doing the periodic system right here. So periodic, we jump to the end. So we sold 3,000, remember, and then we sold 1,000 from this batch, right? We sold 1,000, so we sold 4,000 in total. So all of the cost from this batch was included. And then we are going to use, so 14,250 plus 4,500, right? This is what was sold. This is what was sold. That gets us to our cost of goods sold of 17,000. 750 and whatever's left is going to be our ending inventory which we didn't touch this batch so that's 17,000 plus another 450 from this because this is split in half right we only used a thousand from here we're remembering that we sold the 4,000 in total from our prior questions so that's the ending inventory for lifo right this is perpetual sorry periodic so we jump to the end it's a lot easier perpetual we got to stop and stop and stop and go all right we jump to the end and last in this is the last in so we're working our way back